In light of a historic sentence for a deadly case of distracted driving, our investigative team is continuing to examine whether Florida's texting while driving law is having the intended impact. In this impact check follow-up, Florida 24 investigator Katie Legrome shows us the push to make Florida's distracted driving law stronger and how hands-free legislation could be next. New efforts to beef up Florida's no texting and driving law are starting to move. If we get the phone out of the hand with clear laws saying you can't do these things, you focus on driving, that's when you see lives saved. Advocates now banding together after we discovered Florida's current texting and driving law is one of the weakest in the country. It's useless. In an impact check investigation last month, we found the 2019 law has done little to curb distracted driving crashes or encourage any significant consequences for texting and driving in our state. Just 8,500 citations issued across Florida over a two and a half year period since the law went into effect. This is what we call a clunky law. To date, 26 states have adopted hands-free legislation, banning the use of all handheld cell phones while driving. They are seeing immediate and significant reductions in crashes and fatalities. Why shouldn't Florida have that same benefit? It's about consequence of actions. On Thursday, 40-year-old father of two, Gregory Andriotis, was given the maximum sentence, 30 years in prison, for causing this deadly crash on I-75 in 2016. The wreck seriously injured Brooke, Jordan, and Mallory Shearer and killed 9-year-old Logan. The investigation found Andriotis was downloading apps and spreadsheets on his cell phone before he slammed into the back of the Shearer's SUV. <laughs> the case is the first cell phone related driving case to go to trial in Florida and now the first to end in a prison sentence. Every time someone gets in their car and makes that choice, it will now be met with a punishable action or consequence. The Shears tragedy helped inspire Florida's current law banning texting and driving. While they've since moved out of Florida, they hope the end of their case will motivate lawmakers here to do more. Our fight has been not just for Logan and for Mallory and our family, but for all of the other Logans and other families that will come after for and everyone for everyone else. The big challenge will be getting a Republican lawmaker to sponsor a hands-free bill. Typical arguments in the past have revolved around freedom and privacy issues. Hot-button topics that will likely continue to be a tough sell for Florida's GOP majority. I'm Katie Legrone for the Florida 24 Network.